Guys, it looks like 6ix9ine finally got jumped at LA Fitness over in West Palm Beach, Florida. The video is on screen right now. Uh, if you guys want to look it up, you can. I unfortunately cannot play it on YouTube. That is too graphic, too brutal, and I will probably get demonetized, but the clip is right here. It's, it's posted all over Twitter, so it looks like he was going to the gym, and he also apparently did have security with him, but apparently they were not with him when he was getting jumped. It was a one-on-three. Uh, three, it looks like ball dudes jumped him, and it's just a crazy situation. I mean, honestly the guy wasn't really walking around Florida with no security for no reason I mean he did have that strap on him you know at all times when people would see him out in public he always had his strap on him at the end of the day but guys I wanted to talk about this uh first tweet that I saw here coming from Dom Dom says that any man worried about what uh, what another man is doing to the point where you take action on something that hasn't affected you personally is the very reason you're still stuck in the same current situation so I highly agree with that guys everybody is entitled to their own opinions it's okay to not like 6ix9ine it's okay to not mess with 6ix9ine or mess with Gunna for example in his situation but at the end of the day you should not interfere with a situation that has nothing to do with you and I feel like that's what these guys did I definitely feel like they deserve a lot of jail time for these acts because it's just vile man like if you guys watch the video it's just crazy seeing 6ix9ine in that position and they would not let up like I, that's what's part that's part of a jumping you know what I mean people are just gonna bail on you no matter what but I highly agree with Dom at the end of the day. If it's not your battle, if it's not your fight, I honestly agree with staying out of it is probably the best course of action for you to do because you never know what you could get yourself into. I'm not here to defend 6ix9ine or any of the things that he's done, but he has done a lot for, you know, his community. He's done a lot overseas. Uh, he's done a lot for people just in general, and a lot of people still mess with him to this day. You know what I'm saying? But I won't defend 6ix9ine as a good guy, you know, and I don't want to say if he did or didn't deserve this beating because honestly, I, I personally feel feel like nobody should have to go out into public scared every single day of their life the man's can't even go outside the house and get a coffee you know what i'm saying he can't even go work out at a place where he's supposed to feel safe and comfortable you know in his own body and he's not even able to do that he's not even able to you know complete like a solid workout without you know probably being messed with and if he doesn't have security or his strap on him he's screwed six nine has a lot of people out to get him at the end of the day and it was probably bound to happen eventually and i guess i could say i'm glad that it happened this way but obviously you Nobody deserves this, you know what I mean? But I guess he was humbled. I, just like many others back in my high school, loved 6 9 when he first came out, you know, back in 2017, 2018, you know, when he was popping off and going crazy with Gummo, Billy, all those different songs. He was he was valid back then, you know what I'm saying? It's a shame to see what happened to him. I personally started messing with 6 9 even more after he collabed with one of my favorite YouTubers, Steve Will Do It. Now, Steve Will Do It doesn't make content on the platform anymore. He was booted off. He gave Steve a whole entire McLaren, you know what I'm saying? The guy definitely changed the guy is definitely a lot more humble now at the end of the day and he is definitely giving back a lot more than he needs to he still has a bunch of enemies he still has a bunch of people out to get him so i get it you know i get where people are coming from but that's not the way to go about it he also did an ig live a little bit after he was jumped in a restaurant with steve will do it um and he, he was just talking about you know regular things not really talking about the jumping situation just pretty much saying he's still the king of ig he's still the king of nyc that's pretty much what he was saying in the live he wasn't really going over any of the actual like getting beaten up situation which makes sense you know you don't want to you know ruin your name or do anything like that you know when it comes to that situation so i completely get it but i'll play that clip for you guys now real talks you're yeah. doing good you're on point. yeah i'm doing good you're right doing good. i'm just trying to better myself um so i won't be pretty dark uh you know i've been i find myself in a pretty dark place all the time and um obviously i love my fans i'm always here for you guys still the king of ig still the king of the internet just I don't use it anymore. I don't use it. I barely be in the studio. I'm just keeping it stacked. These from my fans. Um, but uh, I'm here for you guys, and um, I have a group chat with most of my fans where we talk, and I'll let you guys know. And we break the internet like we always do. Um, obviously, I'm here working with a good friend, Steve. Um, you know, we have our up and downs all the time as human beings. Yeah, that was the IG Live, guys. He didn't really say a whole lot in there, but I decided to add that clip just so you guys could see his sort of response. And he was obviously covering up, you know, the injuries, you know, with the sunglasses and stuff. But he is definitely in a different headspace. For my final point, guys, I just got to say, if you're putting yourself on the internet, you got to be willing to take the flack. You got to be willing to take all the hate that comes with it. Because in today's day and age, in 2023, everybody can get canceled. Everybody and their moms could get canceled. This cancel culture 
culture is crazy and you know people can just not mess with you for very simple things people are very quick to switch up on the internet at the end of the day i've dealt with that myself and yeah that's pretty much it just a crazy situation i wanted to talk about it with you guys and share it with you guys and if you guys like these type of videos a sub to the channel would mean a whole lot thank you all for watching i'm out peace